Cristo di calcio italiano Okay, so here we are with the final game on the 1st of June between the Blues and the Blacks. Blacks are currently sat top of the table. Um, the Blues are doing very, very well. I think they're mid-table, uh, but smashing it on the scales as well. So I don't know if we were a little bit late to start in, but the score is nil-nil. Um, and I'm sat on the sideline with Joey the Jaguar, who's going to keep walking away, but he's coming to give me a hand now. Ooh. So a few sloppy passes from the Blacks before we started off. But I believe both both teams did very well on the scales tonight. And they've all got good, both got good numbers here as well. It's nice to see no borrowing for the last game. So we've got Scott here trying to take people on. He's done really well. Oh, brilliant ball to find Jenks. And some solid defending there from the Blues at the Black. How'd you get on the scales, Joe? Yeah, I lost 0.4. Happy hey, with that. A loss is a loss, mate. A loss is a loss. You, you, that's all you can ask for. Yeah. How'd the rest of your team get on? Most of lost. Right. One more, one more can you ask for? Yeah. Especially you've got especially one or two players, well, three oh, including yeah. Ollie, Jenks and, and Scott. Yeah. You know, they, they've been weight loss supremos over the last couple of seasons yeah. so they probably don't have much to lose they're still gaining losses every week they're doing really really well we're missing Salah this week we're missing um, Harry we're missing Kerb this week what is it half term disrupting the team a little bit trying a bit and got damaged still out of COVID so. oh. hey, there's so many people it's, it's taken people out for a long time afterwards COVID is it's ridiculous so we got Panna for the Blues here Let's take a prediction from you, Joey, for the final score. I know you're going to be a little bit biased, bit but... Biased, yeah. 3-1 black. So I, 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 I'm going to go 4-2 blacks. Okay. I think I just think the blacks overall might have just a little bit too much of footballing quality. Oh, Jenks with a fantastic effort there. Five years ago, that was in the top corner. Well, goes bigger that one, they? <laughs> no, <laughs> should have seen Jenks in his prime. Especially three or four years ago before COVID, he was literally such a terrific player. But so far, it's nil nil. Uh, it's a pretty even game. So Jenks squares it back to Scott. Scott's going to take a strike from distance. I apologise for the language beforehand. I must say, in the in the two games prior to this, Paul has had very, very good games. No controversial decisions as of yet. I think we got at least one new player here for the Blues this week. Sporting his name RS Kedu back in the Barcelona days. Oh, terrific through ball from Jenks. Oh. Fantastic effort to hit the post there from the Blacks. Cracking tackle there. Oh. Blacks just settling up now. Jenks, as ever, moving. Fantastic effort by Scott, only to be blocked by Ben. we got Sol there making a the charge for the Blues, sets up Panna. Ben's looking to take a swing. Great strength by both players there. Panna's just holding up in the corner now, looking for that perfect pass. Oh, fantastic. Is that yours? <laughs> yeah, you thank that. you. I'll leave that by the camera. Could you Not... No, yeah, of course right, I will. Cameo appearance on the commentary. What's the score? Uh, the score is still nil nil. Good. It's a very balanced game at the minute. Blacks do have a little bit more football in quality. Obviously, you know a few of the boys playing for the Blacks. 
Hope we're not including Jenks in the football equality category. No, he, he, he's in the GOAT level himself. <laughs> Same keeper. Absolutely, that's always a, always a positive. He was in the end, it's a penalty. Oh, and you don't need me to tell you what just happened. Paul wanted to get his five pence in and he surely did. Looking forward to a view of that on the footage. So, what do you think of your first time coaching Cardiff? Yeah, very good, I very much enjoyed it. Very efficient. Lovely venue. Very good venue. Hopefully, in, in time, we end up in the bit on the big pitches at the back. But that's the aspiration, right? Yeah. Seven side pitches. Yeah. With goal posts thicker than most people's legs, like. It's ridiculous up there, they're huge. That's a whole new definition to on target. 15% you think, what, legend, that man. I don't remember his name, but 15% today. Us, um, here with the blue, with the Scott, boot top. Right? Scott Dowie, yeah. Scott Dewey. Strike. No fairness, he first started at the Blacks with me at the Vale Arena. Okay. And he lost a bucket loads and he, 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 he's done really, really well ever since. Yeah, and Scott needs to that. Both milestone legends today. Yeah, it's 5%. Oh, that's, strong showing for the black. that's brilliant and I think that's that's a massive change um, especially in Cardiff as of late the overall awareness of what people are doing on the scales mm. rather than just what people are doing on the pitch because I think that's where Take Cardiff it. lost a little bit important know. it makes a difference well yeah we're a weight loss club first and foremost so I definitely get those vibes today I'm sure. well scales should always win so oh let them know you're there Strong oh. challenge. And I think that's what we call there a clash of the titans, lads. <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying this, but Ollie Hill's keeping a clean sheet. What's going on? Is Ollie Hill a goalkeeper by trade? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> there are many things he is by trade, and some of them I can't say on this microphone. But... That's not a save, that's a post. <laughs> Great pass there by Pana over to the corner. He lost the most weight tonight. Oh, what was Pana, did you say? Yeah. 2.8 kilograms. That's a massive, massive effort, especially, what are we, week seven? Week seven, yeah, halfway through. Hey, oh, no, no, not halfway through, just over for you guys. Three kilos in at week seven is... Bonkers. Yeah, it's... it's bonkers. But I suppose it, it just shows how comfortable people are getting in this league again. And, you know... They now know losing weight can be so rewarded, not just for their own personal health, but you know their teammates and you know the Manvy Fat members around them as well. well so the next venue for you to coach out will be Bridgend. Yeah, well, I've had a cameo appearance there as well. Yes. So um, be good, be good to get back. Well, we got our very own GoPro up. now. Very good, very good. No, we haven't. Not using my balls. Oh, good. Probably a good show. <laughs> well, I tell you that, I took one last week and it went over the fence and, and, and some little kid ran away with it in the distance. Ah, oh, no. Bridge End for you. Absolutely. Absol well, Bridge End's a nice place. Pen coined for you, that's, that's definite. But no, we got our own GoPro, so we're just going to get a bit more footage now. And hopefully. Both of them have got um, their footage coming out in the coming weeks. They got a cracking venue. Oh, I can't wait to get down there. I played their 11 aside. It's an absolutely stunning venue. It's the same night as us, but I'm hoping to squeeze one in in a I'm few weeks. I'm sure Stan will uh, loan you out for a night. Great battle in there in the corner by Ben. Oh, Panna's one on one with Scott now. Great ball, ball to Sol. Oh, great effort. I'm going to bow out of this. Good to, good to be in Cardiff. No problem. So we're just joined here from Matt Edwards from the Greens, who's decided he's just running off, and Stephen Dart, who's just running off. Cheers, lads. Have a good night. So the ball's just going back to the keeper here now. Um, I believe the score's still 1-0, Joey. 1-0 to the Blues, yeah? <laughs> no, 1-0 well, to the Blacks still. Penalty scored by Jenks. Fantastic save there by the goalkeeper. Oh, now that late run from Jenks and flashing across the box. <sighs> Joey, do me a favour, hold that a second just yeah. while I unlock my can, mate. Yeah. No, Ollie's got to get a dive in somewhere, <laughs> and that and that was just it. Oh. 
Do you know, I'm yet to see a header scored in Man v Fat. Jenks, it's on you tonight, mate. Header, header for a goal. Well, Scott needs to sort that out, doesn't he? Oh, brilliant. Oh, super. Oh, what a touch by Jenks. Referee. Oh. <laughs> he, he had his whistle to his mouth ready to blow, but no, but nothing. Sorry, I do apologise. I don't know everybody's name on the pitch as of yet. <coughs> Especially with the Blues having so new players. But I think, how's, is it Yayan? Joey? Yeah, yeah. How's he? I know he had a cracking week on the scales last week. How's he done this week? He's five percent this week. Oh, mate. What's that, his second week? Yeah. What more can you ask for? Yeah. And that, that just speaks the blacks all over. Polished performance on the pitch today and on the scales. Uh, second goal for Jenks now. Just proving that old men can score. <laughs> oh, ooh. No, so sorry, no, that was Yian's third week. Obviously, his first one was unregistered, and then he, he lost, what was it, nearly five kilos one week. And then he's gone on to it, it's 5% this week. That is a massive, massive performance. I surely would imagine he's your man of the week this week, is he? Yeah, was last week, he'll be this week. No. You know, he's one of them, he's going he's gonna, to he's gonna pull his hat trick off next week by the looks of it. Come on, Yaya, mate, there's a goal in this for you. Little conversation there going on. I think it's, it's to do with his Yain's Greek shorts he's got on, I think. Oh, great effort there by Yayan. I think we're three quarters of the way through the first half. And the score is 2-0 to the Blacks. Great ball there by Panna. Finds out. Now it comes back straight to the Blacks again. But Panna's there to interrupt it and takes the ball back out from defence to the Blues. Oof. It's a bit late in the back there. The referee should have blown that up. It's not the first or second time that's happened tonight. Jenks with the ball. Oh, so nearly found a through ball there. So nearly found a through ball. Oh, free kick to the Blues there. Midway through this. The Blacks half. Oh, Panna plays it to Ben. Ben takes a shot. Good block there by Scott Derry. I must say, Ben has got the best salmon pink socks I think I have ever seen on someone. No. <laughs> How dare you. <sighs> oh, great effort by Jenks there from inside his own half. We'll see at half time if we can get, get the name for one or two of the Blues. So we can give him an introduction through the second half here, here now. Brilliant touch there by Jenks. Tees up for Ollie Hill and goals. Simple ball out to the back. Scott dances past one. Finds Yian. Oh, what a touch. Unlucky. Great run in there, Yian, mate. Oh, terrific effort from Ben there from distance. Maybe next time he'll hit the target. What a ball. What a ball that was from Scott. Jenks went for the delightful touch where Pano was there to intercept it. Pano just carrying the ball up now for the Blues. He's got Sol off it and Sol takes the ball. Just keeps things so simple, does Sol. Oh. oh. Again, a fantastic effort. Oh. How many times are we going to... And that's half time there. Half time score, 2 0. 2 0 to the Blacks. And the Blacks have started off the second half here with the ball. And as I said I would during half time, the gentleman with the blonde hair for the Blues, his name is Jevon. 
Jevon Jr. is his name for the rest of the game. With great press in there from Javon on Ollie Hill. Ollie might finally try and do something this half now. Absolutely. Brilliant touch there from Javon. Oh, and he's gone past him. The Neymar speed, he's through. Oh, terrific effort there. I think sometimes I think it'd be, it'd be nice just to ask one or two of the players, especially after their first week you know, on the scales and on the pitches, just to find out exactly how they feel after their first game. And then maybe ask them after five or six weeks when they've lost a little bit. Because you know, I've noticed, especially th this season more, I've lost four or five kilos and I've noticed I'm sleeping so much different. How do you find losing the weight has affected you? I feel it's very different than everyone else's, but it's, uh, it's still important. It's just having control and finding control as well. And um, eating when you're hungry and stuff when you're um, Going through a few things at the moment, trying to stuff out. Um, real strict good foods and bad foods. Just go with what you feel like and listen to your body. Well, in all fit, that is something that I, I've, I've preached for a long time while I've been at Man V Fat. No, everyone finds their own weight, but yeah. I find if I try and lose weight, oh, Jenks is through one on one. Terrific save from the goalkeeper there, fantastic save. But yeah, so I, I find that if I cut out everything I enjoy, I don't lose weight and I don't enjoy it. Yeah, absolutely. I feel like I'm punishing myself in the long run. Yeah, you are. And then so, you end up rebelling eventually. Well, yeah, and... and, and it becomes and a cycle. Absolutely, like, uh, people laugh at me because I turn up with, like, a McDonald's wrap or a KFC here and there, but I, I work hard to, to shift the pounds. Why shouldn't I be allowed to... No, and I think it's, it's, just, it's the same for everyone. I say to all the lads, if you want a Domino's or a pizza, go and have it. No, yes, it'd be nice to be skinny, but where do you want to be in four years' time when you've put it all back on and wished you had a pizza at that one time? Yeah, I'm told it's called poodle poodleitis. Trying to be a poodle when you're not. Absolutely. It's no fun being a poodle. You all want to be that Rottweiler sat in the garden eating food five times a day and growling at the first person that walks past. Oh, nearly a fantastic effort there by Jevon. Oh, terrific tackling by Ben there. Through to Sol. Great, great interception there by Ollie Hill. But yeah, feeling better than your players is massive as well. It's huge, John. Sometimes you, you, may, you may think like you haven't lost a lot on the scales, but all of a sudden, those jeans that were oh, fan oh, what a safe! What a safe! You find those clothes that were a little bit snug, that would be enough to make you not want to wear them. Now just just fit nicely, and I think that that's that, that's a huge plus in yeah. itself. It's good to keep track of your metrics if you can, waist size and stuff like that. Yeah, few changes weekly, which you won't see in the field. Like I was bought, I was bought two Liverpool shirts during the lockdown. Um, they're medium, and I haven't worn them since. But so I'm, ne that, yeah. I'm nearly there. So, hey, hey. Just cottoned onto that one. We'll, we'll, we'll give you that free one. Great touch there by Scott Dewey. Feeds into Jenks. Oh. The ever present Jenks. Oh, great effort by Scott Dewey there. Oh, and Jevon's running through. Ollie Hill with the effort from distance. Maybe next time he'll score. Into Panna. Oh, great interception by Ollie. Again. Ollie, can you score next time, mate, please? Just a bit of friendly coaching there for Ollie, asking him to score for us. Everybody loves an Ollie Hill goal, he's just not, not given to us tonight. Ooh, fantastic effort. Especially the tackle from, from Ollie Hill. Oh, great ball through by Jenks. Oh, somehow, somehow Scott Derry made it through and had a brilliant save to stop him. What's the score, Joey? Still 2-0. Still Paul, still 2-0? It's 2-0 to Paul, nil to the Blacks and Blues. Keeper, keeper is doing fantastic this game. Quick, keeper, give the camera a, set, a wave, quick. Hey! <laughs> Oh, Ooh, again, yeah. what a save! Jenks, what you got to do to score your third, mate? 
this game could quite easily be out of the water, but that keeper is pulling off some outstanding saves. And I must be fair, he's got big gloves to fill, especially with Leighton. No, Leighton's not been here and they're playing like they haven't missed him whatsoever. Great interception there by Sol. Makes his way all the way through to the black keeper. Did you see that? You don't save those. What an effort by Scott Stanton's left foot. Brilliant left foot effort there. <laughs> nah, I must say, Scott's always been great with both feet, but literally find the top corner from there on his right. What an effort. 3-0 to the Blacks. Oof. Off the post by Jenks there. Great save there by the Blacks. Lovely ball there from Scott to Jenks. I think the man of the match so far is that post. Uh, but between the goalkeeper and the post, they're having a great game between themselves. Oh, another fantastic save from the keeper there. Whoa, there's a very controversial decision there by the referee. VAR will certainly be all over that. That's fine. I think we're going to have to have an interview with Paul next week, I think. Absolutely. I think the post is going to put in a claim for whiplash after this, though. So just 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 over 20 minutes through the game now. I think we got you know seven or eight minutes left. A post again, and another save from the goalkeeper. How is this game three 0 Oh, a brilliant touch by Ollie. Fantastic. Time. Oh, what what a strike by Young Devon there. Again, the Blacks have just hit the post. I think that's something we need to get Stan to do for one of his um, TikTok videos. Would you fit it into a TikTok video? That's the question. It's a Jenks on the post porno, I think. Oh, what a ball. Oh. <laughs> if the post was thinking, what would it be thinking right now? Oh, fantastic save again from the goalkeeper. Pana looking for some support there. Oh, great tackle there by Scott. Should have been a free kick on the edge of the box, so I feel. Unlucky there, great effort from Javon. Whoa, brilliant tackle there from Ollie Hill. It's about time he did something in this game. Oh, what a ball by Scott. Ollie's putting his massive pecs to good use there. Oh, what a save again by the goalkeeper. Oh, a little bit of appreciation goes a long way these days. And have you seen that? The Blues got two amazing keepers. They got Leighton. Oh, yeah. And, and, and this, this chap here. Yeah. gentleman. We don't know his name. Goalkeeper, shout out your name for us, mate. Chris. My name is Chris. My name is Chris. Shoot, shoot. Oh, unlucky. He's had more chances than Jenks. Or he hit some sort of post. Fantastic save by the goalkeeper again. Jenks is always a character here. A man who fat. We've missed him over the couple of years. 
the uh, watch out post. Another, another save by the goalkeeper. Two minutes left. The, the, the goalkeeper on the post are keeping James Corbin on top of the scoring charts. There for was a bonus. Black touch by there. John, we were talking last week, out of all the teams, the Blues are so great defensively. The only thing they lack is just someone who's, who's able to just stick the ball in the back of the net for them. Yeah, you see that today. Right, you look at all the other teams across Leeds, they've all, they've all got somebody who can, you know, when it's tight, go grab my goal. It's a save, a save again! I think he's certainly been taken off the Black's Christmas card list this year. Oh, can we still do that? Slide tackle, no, slide tackle's a man for fat. It wasn't a tackle. <laughs> we apologise for the language there. But the language very well deserved. Oh, he watches them all, he does. He's a super fan. <laughs> hey, everyone's got a super fan. Except Man, man City then, they just don't have really many fans. He's there, he's there. Score it to post. This game's got everything. What more can you ask for? Man, no, 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 that gentleman. Oh, 100%. Which one? Him or the post? <laughs> <laughs> They're like a married couple. Perfect sync. Last minute. As you said by Paul there, last minute. Oh, fantastic finish there from Panos. I believe it's 3 1 here on the night now. Post! <laughs> I don't believe it. The post again. Oh, unlucky. That would have been quite the other 3 Yeah. Post. Well great tackle there from Panna. Square. Oh, great save there by Yayan in the sticks for the Blacks. Oh, he's some well done and just, just before this game comes to an end, I just want to say thank you to Joey the Jaguar for joining me here. And a little cameo here from... Billy Jackson from my, Newport. My predictions on track, no, that top up, top knot is always welcome, my friend. My predictions on track. Isn't it? So rare to hear something sort of positive about it. Thank you, JC. What's that? Predictions on track, isn't it? You said four two, didn't you? Yes. I said three one. Yeah. So I think if there's a bonus goal, it goes to Joey for predicting the score right. <laughs> and that's it. Game over. What a game here from the Blues and Blacks. Man of the match. No matter what people say, the goalkeeper Chris and the post. And we'll see you all next week. No, there's no football here at Man Vat next week because of the Wales game. So we will see you the week after. Cheers, guys.